I'm Caitlin Bristow. Your session is now starting. Welcome to the Okay, everybody, welcome back to an episode of Grape Therapy. I'm your host, Caitlin Bristow. Sydney Quinn is with me in the studio. You were in Nashville visiting. Now we're in LA. Now yes. you see a day in the life of podcasting. It's what are you exhausting. thinking? It's exhausting. Yes. I just like, I'm not even the one talking the whole time, and I'm just sitting here and I'm like, oh my God, is it time to go yet? <laughs> well, I get to be very invested in the conversations. Yeah. I, you and I both are Euler fans. Yes. And uh, Kate Flynn was on the podcast today. Oh my God. Who is somebody that was a little a little plastered, if you will, at an Oilers game, flashed yeah. the crowd and went absolutely viral. viral. She works in the oil industry, tattoos. She's rough around the edges, which I love so much. She we'll was probably so fun have to, to have on the podcast. Yeah, she, we'll probably have to beep out every other word that she says. <laughs> I love it, I love it. And we just kind of talk about the fact that, you know, her and Hawk Tua oh kind of God. both went viral at the same time. And yeah. I thought the sweetest thing she said was like, I'd, I'd like to ask if Hawk Tua Okay. Well, I, I got teary. I'm like, that is so sweet. That is nice, <laughs> isn't it? But we kind of talk about this overnight fame for her and now being part of Playboy and mm -hmm. what comes along with overnight fame for showing your boobs. Yep. We should have yeah. actually worn Planned something them. Canadian today. We should yeah, either go wore, to the like, store. <laughs> yeah. Somebody go get us a Canadian tuxedo ASAP. <laughs> yeah. I did a photo shoot in one the other night. Did you? Yeah. D you should post it today for Canada Day. Oh, yeah, maybe. That would be good. Canadian tuxedo. I love it because Americans are like, what? Yeah, Canada celebrates know. a day? What yeah, does it that's mean? What that like denim. Remember, I was wearing like the denim shorts and the denim Playboy jacket. That's like called a Canadian tuxedo when you no wear it. Way. Yes, yeah. denim on denim is yeah. Canadian tuxedo. It's amazing. Okay, so we're in LA. You're in LA for Playboy stuff, yeah. which I'm so excited to have you on, just because many reasons, but mostly because I want to know how you're feeling in all of this. I a lot of times on this podcast, it all of a sudden turns into a therapy session, but don't make me cry. <laughs> it was my favorite thing to make people cry. No, but it's pretty easy these days. <laughs> That's, I mean, you're you're in a yeah. fragile state. You literally oh. got chewed up and spat out, and 100%. now you're here. And yeah. there's probably so many peaks and valleys, valleys and challenges to go through with this newfound fame because you probably never saw this coming. Or did you? No. Oh, okay. No. I'm some people are. No, you can swear. Okay. Um, some people are really intuitive, and you're like, you know what, this adds up. But some people are like, oh, what the hell just happened? No, that's, that's where. That's I'm where at. you're. <laughs> okay. So you are from Grand Prairie. Yeah. Which is for people who don't know. People don't know where Edmonton, Alberta is sometimes no. in the States. So where I grew up is Leduc. Grand Prairie is probably like six, seven hours from Leduc, yeah, I would like say. six hours. So we grew up very close to each other. And are you in the oil industry? Like, is that... I am, yeah. That's your... Your job yeah. is in the oil industry. Yeah. Okay, so you're like surrounded by dudes <laughs> yeah, all the time. all the time. Okay. Do you like what you do? I love my job. Like, you there's do? There's no, no chance that I'll stop doing it in the immediate future anyway, like... What a great feeling. <sighs> Who the yeah. hell can say that? Me? <laughs> wow. Yeah. What does like a day in the life look like for you? Uh, well, it depends on the day. I'm like in oil field hauling, so depends on what we're doing, where we're going. Oh my gosh. We did, okay. We did some weird jobs this winter. We went to Tuk 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 twice. Like the furthest, most northern point wow. in Canada you can drive to. Wow. They had like an exploration well up there and they wanted to bring it back online because it's enough to heat their whole town or something. I didn't really get the... <laughs> I feel like I just showed up. Yeah. and then, Was like, it like minus 60? It was very cold. Holy like when we got shit. there, we had to stay at the hotel for two days. Couldn't go to... It was too cold. Well, cheers. Yeah. I am so glad you're on the podcast. Just a couple Alberta girls drinking my wine and talking about boobs. Yeah. Yeah. Boobs. And I'm so excited for you. Just so many things. I feel like just the vibe I get from you is that you're humble. You know where you came from. You don't. You're just like kind of riding the wave right now. And yeah. you're trying to understand the level of fame and attention that you're getting. What the happening? <laughs> Every okay. morning I get up and text my best friend. I'm like, is this still? Yeah, is this She's thing? like, no, man, it's not fake. Mm -mm. Because I was on this big, like, the whole world is fake kick, like, weeks prior to this happening. I'm like, we're in a simulation and my sim's just, like, bad at their job. <laughs> <laughs> I often, sometimes I think I'm high when I'm not. Because my brain starts thinking that way too. I'm like, who's running this show right now and why are you doing this? Yeah, to me? like I have no business being in charge of like 
being a famous person in the public <laughs> eye. Like now I'm like, where am I going to get drunk? Like in the bush alone? Because no, everyone's do watching. Do. do what I do. I just let her rip. <laughs> just let her rip wherever you, you just got to stay being you. Do what you do and just don't let the world try and tell you who to be. So let's go back to the beginning. So <clears throat> do you go to Oiler games often? Ah, uh, no. That was the first one and probably like eight years holy shit this is giving pam anderson at the bc lions like i was i had to go to edson the night before and then i had to get something in edmonton at eight in the morning so i had to stay anyway and my boss bought me the tickets he's okay. like oh you need to go the playoffs the atmosphere and i'm like ah oh, no like i have to get up early i like, actually turned down the tickets like and then i was like ah f- it. i'll go, I'll go. <laughs> yeah paint the picture for us you're w- what period was it was it chilly what like what inspired you to sh- to flash the crowd? I'm obsessed, by the way. There was there was no real inspiration. I drank like eight Trulies in the first period and did not eat all day, <laughs> like all day. <laughs> we were like gonna stop and get food, and we're like, Fuck it, we'll get it when we get there. And then there was nowhere to park because I have like a pretty large truck for yeah. the downtown Edmonton. Yeah. So we had to like walk seven blocks. I was like carrying my dog in a box of drinks and like sweating and Oh my gosh. Yeah, we didn't have time to eat, went to the game and then my friend I was with, she's like, We know we need to keep buying them or we're gonna be stuck in the lineup. So we you can't take your full drinks to buy them. So we were drinking them in the lineup, waiting for more of them. Like it was, Oh yeah. my gosh. I mean eight trulies would kill me. Uh yeah, well I want to die the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so so you get on the big screen. No, I wasn't on the big screen. You were Someone weren't? just recorded it and okay. put it on yeah. X or Twitter, which I didn't even know was a thing anymore. I thought it, like, went away years ago. So oh I had to, like, God. re-download it to find my own tits on the internet. Oh. And, like... <laughs> so you... What, in, what, what was the inspiration? You were just there was, drunk. There was no one there. Oh, okay. <laughs> and are you... But are you kind of happy you did it? Uh... D- I mean, like, I'm happy with the way things are going totally. in my bank account. Yeah. But, like... <laughs> yes, bless. I love but honesty. But, like, the attention and all that's been, like... It's hard. Overwhelming to the max. It's not ever who I am. Like, I never had, like, really a social media presence. I thought... This whole time I thought that you were on the big screen and then showed... Okay, so you were just in the crowd and out of nowhere and somebody caught it. Yeah, when they won. So they won, like, the Western Conference Finals. Incredible. Yeah, and everybody was, like, going psycho. Like, it was insane in there. Look, I often, <laughs> like, that to me is a reaction it's, that sometimes like, I want, like, you I've just get... flashed a million f- times, if we're being <laughs> honest. Like, it's just well, something that's your move. I do. Yeah. That's like, your move. Riverboating, tets out. Like, <laughs> hey, f- you, tets out. Like, that is something. Okay, so. I didn't the other... think twice about it, I assume. Like, it was just, like. You just did it. Poop. And so it blew up on the internet. Your okay. boobs were like everywhere. An explosion. Did you yeah. feel like a little bit, uh, were you like, okay, tell me your reaction. I don't want to assume. Oh, I Ta- got it taken off or I thought I got it taken off. And it was like, no, you did not get it taken off. And then it was like gone. And then I was working and my phone was just like, ding, 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 ding. Like people sending me my tits. And I'm like, my life, <laughs> man. Like, <laughs> it so is then like- I was like, I got to call my mom so she can debrief dad that my tits are on the internet okay so there was people i made phone calls to before they got to see my tits like shannon here's with me like we were like my tits were viral like a week and a half and i called her and she was like what i haven't seen them i'm like where the have you been like under a (laughs) rock like they're on tiktok facebook twitter like they're they're viral oh (laughs) my gosh like yeah. you would have never in a million years okay so you had to make a call to the parents what did they say uh well mom said oh they're just tits like we'll deal yeah. with it they'll go away it, like can't be that bad and then it was like in the new york post the next day and we're like oh yeah, it's that bad it was actually in the printed copy of the new york post <laughs> It was not. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't believe I missed it. So many people, I was, I forget where I was, but the guys that I was w- with were talking about Hawk to a girl and you, 
And I was like, how did I not know this? And they were all showing me what, and they were like, this girl's awesome. And then I found you on Instagram and DM'd you immediately. I was like, yeah. meet you on the podcast. <laughs> and then I was with Biz and I saw he, he was with you. And I'm like, tell her to check her DMs. I really want her on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, well, you were like following me, but you were like in the eight billionth message in my like I request bet. folder and my uh, good like friend, like cousin, I guess I call her, but she's not like actually my cousin's yeah, weird family those. thing. I she's like, those. oh my God, Caitlin Bristow's following you on Instagram. I'm like, who the f- yeah. Like I literally <laughs> know who no one is. Yeah. Like I never watch movies. Well, if you're living I in ne- Grand Prairie <laughs> in the oil field, you're kind of under a rock. Yeah. Well, I just choose to be though. Like I'm like I don't care what's so- happening around me if it's not like immediately affecting me or not going to change my life five minutes from now or five years from now. Like, why the f- should I care about God, it? You like are so Grand Prairie. <laughs> I love it so much. It's just. Alberta girls are a different breed, but Grand Prairie girls, it's like you are what I think my soul wants to be, but I like Come dial on. it in. But I dial it in. You're the next contestant on Grand Prairie. <laughs> I honestly was like, do I flash my boobs at the Oiler game if they win the cup? Do it. I thought yeah, about it. I did think about I'm it. I'm surprised more people didn't try. Like, that's what everyone said. Like, everyone's going to do that. Now I'm like, nope, they're not. Do you want to get bullied like that? Like, <laughs> I was going to ask. It was so intense. <laughs> who is it women bullying you? Uh, it's mostly like 400 pound guys that live in their mom's basement and eat peanut butter out of the jar with their hand and uh, never sick. seen a set in their life. Yeah. Yep. And yep. then there's like the m- amount of supporters that attack the people who are mean is like, Insane. Oh, you got you. We need to oh, name I have them like a war. Like we need to name them because yeah. so my supporters who listen to the podcast will go to war for me, and I call them the Vinos. Oh, so you need to name. You know how like the Swifties, the yeah. what is Beyonce's like the Beehivers? <laughs> what? No, that's yeah, not what it is. But, not, but you need like the Flinners. Yeah. The Flinners. You think so? Yeah. They come to war for you, and they're your community, and they're your they're support like a system. like generator? Like, a, on the internet, we can type in you keywords? Can, <laughs> yes, but I have a question. Yeah. So, with all of this going on, you literally get the attention of Playboy. You're now getting brand deals. You're getting flown places. You're doing all these things. Mm-hmm. Do you want to keep it going, or are you just going to make hay while the sun shines? Do you want to, like, build a longevity career with this, or are you... Because I know you want to... I, uh, is this, like, going to be a side hustle? Can you... Like, are you like, I can't do this? Well, that's what I got Shaya for. Shaya? Shaya always say it wrong. <laughs> I can't say, say anything right. <laughs> uh, I say her name wrong every time, too. Yeah, that's okay. It's nobody's named that in Grand Prairie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Betty and Karen Dorn. Betty and Lucy. Betty and Lucy. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know. I'm just riding the wave. Yeah. Because it's, a, it's like, a lot. Like It is a lot. So are you reading into it, like, with what people say to you? I have drastically dialed back on reading the comments, and it's, like, made my mental health substantially better. Like, yeah, yeah. when I first went on Spin Chicklets, everyone, like, attacked my teeth. And I was like, they're the only thing I have not been self-conscious about my entire life. Like, oh, the internet will do that. <laughs> yeah. That's I was they, like, what? I got my teeth redone because of the internet, and I did not have bad teeth. No? No. Yeah, I was like... Don't let them do that. I have... Bullies. They are. They'll find whatever and go yeah. for it. Okay, so I'm glad you've dialed back. You're not paying yeah. too much attention to it. Because, I mean, it's only going to get worse and better. Yeah. That's the internet. <laughs> you'll yeah. have a, a a lot of supporters and you'll find community and people will, again, go to war for you. And then you're going to have the angry men who... It's just sad. It is. It's, <laughs> I can't decide what's worse. I get a lot of women who hate me and I only have, like... 2% of men that follow me on Instagram, but I don't know who's worse, men or women. There was literally a church on uh, X or Twitter or whatever it is that talked about, like, a shooting in a mosque and then my tits in, like, the same sentence and, like, compared them like, and said, like, tw- uh, June has been, like, the worst month this year in 20 20- oh, I'm like, God. yeah, I have killer tits, but they're not killing anyone in a f- mosque let's like, also let's calm down let's also ask why men can lift up their shirts and have painting of the exactly t- and that's l- like literally what i said i was gonna do before i went to the game just like joke and i'm like oh yeah i'm gonna paint my chest and yeah then, <laughs> that's I, why can men do it and women know. can't i get it that double that's standards like, yeah i'm like Everyone's men have like calling me pedophile and shit i'm like what you're literally allowed to be topless in canada if you want to like, yeah do whatever you want i mean i just like, get a grip here <laughs> Do you get upset by how sexualized you've been? 
No, I mean, I feel like everyone is now. The world's just sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a, Well, sex. and then you get to go on to Playboy, yeah. which I like Playboy for that reason because we like celebrate women's bodies. Yeah. And, and like you decide what what you can Yeah, like, you not, decide. They're not telling you to and like Playboy BBC is or... Yeah. <laughs> Playboy's just so iconic and there's been so much history with it and I feel like it's Obviously, we saw that documentary that came out, but that's like that's how it was back in the day. I feel like no, it's I like, didn't. <laughs> oh, well, we so all did. Multiple people told me to see it on the internet before I joined but their turned, cult. But <laughs> it's turned a new leaf. It's like a. I feel like Playboy's empowering. Yeah, I really do. It's, yeah, it's been, I'm, it's been good. I mean, it's so cool that you get to do photo shoots. Like, have you ever done a photo shoot? Uh, like, no, my fourth one ever was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you enjoy it? Uh, I don't mind it so bad. I, I the photo shoots are not bad. It's like the like live recording, like the social media presence. I guess like I can get my picture taken, but like I right can control what I say. So do you ever do Instagram lives? <laughs> uh, no. I okay. did my first like Playboy live last night. It's like the same thing. You can like I charged. I think it was like five dollars a question to answer cool. their questions. They've been answering. Everybody was like really good in there. They were like super supportive. No one made it sexual. Like lots of people were wow. like, "Oh, we're here for her personality. We just want to hear her talk." I'm like, "Oh, they do like me." Yeah. <laughs> See, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I feel like does Playboy have like a supportive community? I would assume so. Yeah, I yeah. would assume that's nice. I I assume you make good money in the oil industry. How does it compare yeah. to the Playboy and the Instagram <laughs> world of money? Isn't it wild? It's a little crazy. Yeah. 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 So what are you going to do? Like, uh, I, I are you just going to save up your money? and some people yeah. and do some smart stuff with it. Like, yeah. Not like, money I ever would have had to do the things I want. Like, right. If I got, like, super rich, I'd probably move away to <laughs> Idaho or somewhere with, like, a, a moat and a fence and stuff. <laughs> This is this is so funny because I always thought I wanted to like be in LA and be on TV and which I do I love all those things yeah. but after I'm in my like tenure of being on TV and doing all these things and mm -hmm. my 5 year plan now is to move to Montana and just have a horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I just want to have a horse, a therapy horse, dogs, and like a horse you can ride or just one you can pet. Both. Yeah. Both. One that could like look me in the eyes and make me feel better, and just yeah, I just. We went to the farmers market yesterday. Like, yeah. Over here. Yeah. And there was kill dog like puppies from the kill shelter. <gasps> Senior dogs though they were like. Oh, I would have went home with all of them. They wouldn't let us take them to Canada. They're like, we don't adopt out of states. We were like, went back to the house. We're like, you need to come adopt this dog for us so we can take it back to Canada. Like, oh my... they wanted to be like loved so bad. It was. Oh, horrible. that breaks my whole yeah, entire the heart. Farmers market was incredibly depressing. Like, went there for this happy experience, and the last booth was like these little sad kill shelter How dogs. How many dogs? Uh, what was it like? Probably seven. There's like ten, and they let us hold them, and yeah. he, like, ran over to me and put his feet up on the gate, and I held him for like ten minutes. I was like, I'm. Gonna it was die. awful. Oh. Don't ever go to the farmers market. <laughs> That's so sad. They won't let you take it to Canada. No, no not out of state. Why? I, I'm, the like, rescue the rules. Yeah, you don't want to get rid yeah. of that bad. Yeah. You don't want yeah. to not die that bad. Shelters in Canada, so we were like. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> I went Gosh. to the farmer's market to, like, loosen up. <laughs> just came back to prime. Oh, my like... gosh. Yeah. That's crazy. It was bad. All right, transforming your skin routine does not have to be complicated. So meet Dime Beauty, the game changer your skin's been waiting for. Dime Beauty isn't just skincare. It is a clean, high-end experience that actually delivers results without the luxury price tag. So they've prioritized performance without compromise. And the kicker, Dime is 100% transparent about every single ingredient so you can confidently use their products daily. So if you're ready to simplify your routine, start with their works collection. So forget the 10-step hassle <laughs> dimes works system packs everything you need into one powerful package so a gentle cleanser toner two incredible serums and two luxurious moisturizers and guess what's back in stock dimes coveted tbt cream a retinol alternative that delivers all the benefits without the irritation so with over two million happy customers and glowing five-star reviews if you haven't tried dime you are missing out sorry you are so reignite your love for your skin visit dimebeautyco.com to unlock your exclusive discount that's dime DimeBeautyCO.com. Dime Beauty, clean, affordable, luxurious skincare that works wonders for your skin.
Okay, if you are a pet parent like me, Chewy is your go-to for everything for your furry friends. So from the essentials to special treats, Chewy has it all and it's all delivered right to your door in literally no time. Chewy keeps my little boys happy with over 100,000 products from their favorite brands and the convenience of quick one to two day shipping. So whether it's food, toys, cozy beds, whatever it is, Chewy has you covered, not just for dogs, but cats also and birds, fish, reptiles, and more. Chewy also offers pet prescriptions, insurance, and and even telehealth vet visits. So they're rolling out vet clinics across the country, making pet care easier than ever. So thanks to Chewy's auto ship feature, never run out of the essentials and I can adjust or cancel my orders at any time. I believe it's a lifesaver for when I'm so busy and I know that Ramen and Pino will be getting their weekly little treats and I just don't have to worry if I forgot to place the order or not. And when it comes to customer service, Chewy does go above and beyond with 24 seven support. It's actually the best customer support I've seen in a long time. So whether I need advice or how have a question, their team is always there to help day or night. Plus their 100% satisfaction guarantee means I can shop worry-free knowing that I can return anything within a year if it doesn't work out. Chewy just truly has everything that you need to keep your little pet happy and healthy. And right now you can save $20 on your first order and get free shipping by visiting Chewy.com slash Vine. That's Chewy.com slash Vine to save $20 on your first order with free shipping. So don't miss out. Chewy.com slash Vine. How did Playboy approach you? Dee Dee from Playboy, like, same as you, messaged me and I ignored her. <laughs> you did? <laughs> For, like, days. I'm like, who is this freak pretending ah! to be Playboy? Like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Really? It, yeah, and then I, like, sent it to my friend. She's like, that's a real person you're ignoring. Like, actually, at Playboy, you need to do this. And I'm like, no. I'm like, them. Like, just leave me alone, everyone. <laughs> like, this is... I was like, hiding hardcore like really wearing the giant sunglasses everybody so then, knew who i was grand prairie's not that big but oh, grand prairie yeah i feel like they would be no, going nuts nobody said anything though everyone's like been incredibly respectful of it and, like that's wow yeah it was good that's nice that gives me some hope in humans because i feel like yeah that it's it's the internet it's the internet people in real life even the people that are on the internet being crazy they they probably would be supportive in real life it's yeah that's how i feel like i'm like everyone who hates me already hates me and everybody who knows who i am knows like oh cool kate took her to the others game whoop de doo whoop de doo <laughs> well it is a big whoop de doo yeah it was a big whoop de doo so when you wrote back to playboy you were like what is going on and they're like we want to i don't even remember what i said to her now like everything's just like one a blur. big day like how many followers did you start with oh, and like where 600 and now you're at like 70,000 yeah <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> so crazy it is crazy what what kind of content do you want to share on your instagram now I don't know. That's what I'm struggling with is like. The, I feel like you got to lean into the oil field. Yeah, and that's what I play thought boy. it would be like better to just be me on there. Yes, that's, always. That's who people came for. They didn't come for like L.A. Kate. They came for unhinged dirtbag patch Kate. Yes, 100%. Yeah. That is 100%. You need to always remember to stay that person. Yeah, and that's what everyone said. They're like, you're going to go to Hollywood and change. I'm like, I ain't never changing I've I'm talked like, to you for 35 in August nobody's been successful yet you think Hollywood's gonna be what takes me down not a chance I've been talking to you for 15 minutes and I am pretty sure you are not gonna turn into Hollywood <laughs> I don't think it's no, in you I don't have it no like, it's not. you'd and you'd have to want it too which you yeah, don't want to turn to Hollywood to. that's I mean what's the craziest DM you've gotten so far I can't even they're, they're bad like 50 marriage proposals a day like I'll get you your green card. Like, you'll never work a day in your life. I'm like, where are you? I'll come to you right now. I'm like, oh, creepy. So sometimes I'm mean back to them because I'm like, do you often share your f-ing location yeah, with total yeah. strangers on the internet? Like, why like, the f- would I tell you where I am? You're like, I'm like, worried about you. Do you think that you messaged me? Like, there's this one guy in Pennsylvania who begs groceries, or that's what he told me he did because I was trying to be nice to everybody at first and oh, he God. was being nice. And then yeah. when I like wouldn't immediately answer him, he'd like, lose it on me and i'd wake up and i'd That's have scary. 400 messages That's from scary. this guy like you're ugly no one likes you yep. and then yep. i'm so sorry like he's like having this whole ass conversation with himself yeah that. it's actually scary some people scare me because i mean you think about if people know where your location is like say you post something and you're somewhere like it's scary that people could just come find you and like that men or women can be like mentally unwell and 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 you never they're unpredictable it's so how scary. Do you know? How do you how do you 
plan on protecting your peace moving forward? I have no plans for anything. Like, I don't feel genuinely concerned for myself in Grand Prairie. Like, I feel like people yeah. are still Grand Prairie. Like, obviously, yeah. if I go other places, I'll need it. Like, when I was with Biz and them at that hockey game, they had security everywhere they went. Good. And then when I left that uh, hockey game to go home, I got a flat tire, like, four hours later, and I was, like, laying under my truck changing my tire. And I'm like... <laughs> Four hours ago, I had a security guard to go piss, and now I'm changing my own tire. I'm like, <laughs> the world is <laughs> fake. Like, <laughs> wait, that's crazy. Yeah, that's so. such a funny like duality of you. Yeah, Just... like four hours apart. I'm like, hmm, I don't know many people who change their own tire who also have security. I'm like, this is a little f- it's but crazy. Like, where do you find a happy medium? When or do okay. you? <laughs> Um, no, no, no. You just got to I I'm an extreme like I'm either like down here or up here. I'm never just uh, my yeah. therapist calls it the window of tolerance. <laughs> I'm oh, learning. I have one of I'm, those, I think <laughs> I'm not in that window of tolerance. Yeah. I'm either up here or I'm down here and I'm working on being right here. And it is so hard. It is so I'm so extreme. Did you get OK? I don't know if I can talk about this, but like you got an offer from Playboy. Uh, no, so Playboy has, like, a platform kind of, okay. like, OnlyFans. Oh, okay, so then you make certain money off that. Yeah, okay. and so there's, like, different levels, like, silver, gold, platinum, or whatever, and they, like, said, like, oh, well, you'll just come on as this, and we'll help you, because, like, normally you have to, like, achieve them, like, having a team behind you, but I had so much that they were, like, we need to do this for you, or you're just not going to do it, because it's so psycho, so I, like, right. got to pass over those steps yeah which was a big thing to have that help do right you, off the hop do you have like a an entertainment lawyer no oh lord <laughs> i need lots of things yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well but take it from me i've had to learn drink. the hard way yeah. yeah i honestly i remember signing my bachelor contract and like i had no idea what i was doing and i yeah. was just like it was like 37 pages which is nuts and it was like you could suffer from like mental illness and emotional trauma and i was like caitlin barista signing each page and it's just like i already have that yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm like well, how much worse can you give get? me more that's what would be like your dream collaboration to have out of everything like oh well like i just want to make sure huck tall girl's okay oh uh, <laughs> that is the sweetest thing you I was like i don't want to like be one of those psychos in her dms on the you internet though be. but it was like i said this to my 16 year old niece we were at the zach bryan concert and they brought up hawk tua on stage you guys were there for that one yes. yes oh and i'm like i love that she's getting this and she seems so sweet and i'm like i just want to like protect people at all costs and like you know certain things and dms she's probably getting and offers and like she probably doesn't know which way to go i feel like you two should link up and be like yeah. support systems for each other yeah like group therapy <laughs> yeah because like i have a very offside sense of humor i i like to push limits i like to say things for shock value i like like the hawk to it to me I was like oh my god that is hilarious I started quoting it but then I realized the other side of it where I'm like my niece is thinking like oh you can just talk about spitting on a and <laughs> yeah. get famous and then I'm like same thing with you I'm like I freaking would that's something I would do and it's yeah that's what the haters are like oh the only reason she's famous is for her tits blah 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 yeah, I'm like, so? like I was famous for the tits but when I posted that video under the bridge telling everybody to off is when I blew up. I just, like, God. went under the bridge, and I was like, yeah, I whipped my tits out in an Oilers game. I went f viral for it. If you don't like it, then f off. Like, you don't have to let it affect your life in any way. Yeah. It was my tits. Yeah. The Oilers. Not you f***ing Karen. Not you f***ing fat Larry in your mom's basement. Like, f*** off. Like, enough. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's when I, like, exploded. Oh, my gosh. And so what was people's reaction to that? Oh, now, people I loved the f off good okay yeah. so i'm assuming your parents your family and friends know the kind of person you are and when you are being you on social media they're like that's her and that's all anyone could ask for you yeah. know like be you but the internet is probably like oh god yeah anybody who knows me just knows that that's me but yeah. the internet's like wow she's so strong-willed and spirited and i'm like <laughs> no i'm just like this you are <laughs> have yeah. you always been like this kind of like out of the yes. womb just like a rough tough and like, like you are just, who you are i don't like think i was born with a filter mm. I, like since a, a long time yeah i just remember it's, it's refreshing shocking people with what comes out of my mouth like sometimes even myself and <laughs> it's like 
you should not have said that. <laughs> Do you have siblings? I have one younger sister, yeah. And what does she think of all this? Uh, she's medium. <laughs> <laughs> she's just like, uh. She's like a very, I don't want to say reserved, but she's oh. just like a farmer who stays in the bush and doesn't whip her tits out at Oilers <laughs> games. And <laughs> she's like oh nice my... little farmer Sally. Oh, farmer Pets Sally. Her pigs and cows and... Oh, bless that life too. The calm, good child. Like my parents ah, never had a concern. One. Yeah, like still to this day, when my parents phone, like if their phone rang in the middle of the night, mom's like, "We always think it's about you." Yeah, like it could literally be anyone, and we immediately assume. Yeah, it's something to do with you. That's, or you're awake and you're drunk and you're calling us. <laughs> that is, um, my parents have always said that too. They're like, yeah. my mom has like, my sister's ringtone when she calls is like, <laughs> and it, when it rings for me, it's. Wah, 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 wah. I'm like, okay. It's emergency. Yeah, it's always like something dramatic must <laughs> be happening. This is not a test. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you besides this? Uh, I almost died. When? 2016. I was in like a bad snowmobile accident. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I was like climbing my sled like up the mountain and I had hit like a hardened patch of snow from the day before and I ended up like impaling myself in the guts. And so I lost 60% of my pancreas, my whole spleen, and 30% of my liver. But I only had, like, a bruise the size of a toonie. I oh, guess. my gosh. For, for the Americans, oh, don't know what a toonie is. Like hearing a, toonie makes me happy. Like, two-inch circle, I guess. Yeah. And the guy I was dating at the time was like, oh, you're just being a little bitch. So <gasps> I, like, he was, yeah, anyways. I would, we won't get into him. Okay. Um, I rode my sled for, like, another probably five hours that day and then, like, packed up camp, drove home, and, like, waited to go to the hospital. And then we were at the hospital. And I, had like, hit my face, too, when I came down. And there was no snow in Grand Prairie because it was, like, the 9th of April. And he went out to the truck to get something. And they were like, he's gone now. You can tell us what really happened. Like, we know there's no snow. And I'm like, he didn't beat me. Like, actually. Oh. Oh, crash. Oh yeah, and then like they're like you should actually call your parents and i was like oh oh no oh. and they're like told my parents they're like if and if she comes out of this surgery like she's gonna be like f***ed up like diabetic like not probably ever get good and so i was in the hospital for 21 days i wasn't Holy allowed shit. to 21 days before i flipped out and checked myself out i wasn't supposed I to could leave see just like ripping out the they IVs. like called my ah, dad because ah. i was like i'm leaving and they're like you're not leaving like you're sick i'm like i'm leaving like i don't know what part of this you don't get like i'm and then leaving you're fine? and they're like i got way better at home like the honestly the worst part of the whole accident was like the hospital drugs like the morphine and shit uh, and like the withdrawal from that was horrible but i yes. went home and just like started taking weed oil and doing my normal life not laying in a bed yeah. rotting like they yeah. wanted me to and yeah i got better way faster than the hospital I ever feel like you've got a strong god yeah you head. know <laughs> i feel like you're like mind you're over matter you let yourself be yeah, yeah i feel like you're a big be mind a over man. matter guy yeah <laughs> a woman <laughs> yeah <laughs> Sweater weather. Okay, sweater weather is behind us. It's time to stay cool and comfy all summer long with Bombas. Made from premium extra long staple cotton, Bombas socks are your go-to for feeling light on your feet in any summer adventure. So from breezy dress socks that support your arches at weddings to compression socks that keep you comfortable on long flights, I swear by these compression socks. And even on sightseeing days, Bombas has socks for every occasion. And if you're into running, hiking, playing pickleball, their athletic socks, literally designed to keep you blister free and dry even in the heat. I didn't know socks could be so incredible until I tried these. But Bombas isn't just about socks, they've got your summer essentials covered. So think 100% cotton tees that feel crisp and airy, underwear that offers support without sacrificing breathability and waterproof slides that are as light as a beach ball. So grab a pair while they last. What sets Bombas apart isn't just their quality, it's their mission. So for every item you buy, Bombas donates a comfy clothing item to someone in need. With over 100 million items donated to date, your purchase truly makes a difference. And if you're not completely satisfied, Bombas has you covered with their 100% happiness guarantee. So returns and exchanges are hassle-free, ensuring you love every Bombas purchase. So are you ready to feel good and give back? Visit bombas.com vine and use code vine for 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash Vine and use code Vine at checkout. Are there any like specific projects or things you're working on right now that you're excited about? Going sturgeon fishing with like this guy that I ended up meeting on Instagram from the whole thing. I've cool. like always wanted to go sturgeon fishing. He like reached out like not to be like a creep or yeah. anything or not even to invite me for sturgeon fishing just to be like, wow, like what you did was incredible. Don't listen to the f- haters. And yeah. then I like creeped his profile. I'm like, this mother 
fish is fish. <laughs> and I'm like, we're going fishing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my so we're going to go August long weekend. I think Shannon's going to come with me. And cool. we're going to do a photo shoot sturgeon fishing. Oh, great idea. Yeah. I have a quick little lightning round of questions for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you had the chance to go back and do this again, would you do it? Probably not for, like, the sake of my mental health and, like, how crazy it was like if I knew the results were going to be good but those like first two weeks like I like had like a menti b like five oh, times a day and that's I'm a sorry. cute little name I gave it so it yeah I call it a panic to... attack yeah yeah <laughs> it sounds cuter yeah way cuter yeah oh my gosh no I have menti b's a lot it's a yeah. lot it's like a it lot cried my eyelashes off my face my one eye like swelled shut I like looked oh. like I was like beaten I was like ah glasses everywhere oh my gosh okay so what's one thing you want people to know about you that they would never guess i don't know that you're maybe a little more sensitive than people think yeah i definitely do have like a hard exterior but yeah i'm a little bitch on the inside <laughs> yeah that's okay same <laughs> yeah that's me I'm, like, I'm a little bitch on the you inside got with me you yeah you cry when you leave <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Asshole. Yeah. yeah. You were hammered. You showed your boobs. You get on Playboy. People are giving you a lot of attention. But, like, you didn't do anything bad. Yeah, like, I didn't go out there asking for this. And everyone's like, yeah, you did. You don't take your tits out in public without asking for this. And I'm like, yeah, obviously that was a consequence of it. But tell me you've never been drunk and done something dumb. Like, when I get drunk and do something unhinged, I get, like, unfamous for it like it gets you not fans <laughs> yeah. and i was like i don't know what happened like, this time but like literally thought i did if anything get canceled like yeah like, like nah. and then when i went to the hockey game with biz and them i'm like did you even check biz if i'm allowed in the f- rogers place like <laughs> he's like it's fine you're with me let's go like, biz, but man, did you confirm like what am i allowed biz is one of my favorite people i've known him since i was i think 23 yeah he was great oh they he's great just to party with they were all gems. and like I've seen him go through a lot of phases in his life, and he is, like, in a, a place right now where I'm, like, I love him. Like, he's he's done a lot of work on himself, and he's figuring out, and he's, like, made a real career for himself out of his own personality. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Apparently that can happen. Yeah. <laughs> and you could do it, too. Who knew? <laughs> and you could do it, too. Do you have an Oilers crush? No. Oh, I do. Holloway? No. no I, I don't like... Uh... Athletes? Yeah, it's not my thing. I like, like, wallets and, like, being able to fix something. And ah. Like, I mean, I'm sure the Oilers could fix something if they no, wanted to. But you like, like, a rough and tough handy man who's yeah, got a wallet like, and listens like, to I country music. Like dating an Oiler would be like, oh, okay, well, I'll see you next spring. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> After you're done your spring conditioning camp and move on to golf. Yeah, that's <laughs> See you true. in the fall for <laughs> hot men. <laughs> yeah. That's so true. Most surprising fan interaction. I got a movie offer, yeah, from this one guy. He's like, I don't know who he is or if he's like. Is he legit? Yes. <laughs> Apparently he he's is? legit. I, okay. I, a movie offer? I blew him off for a while, too. And then I'm like, oh, maybe these real Playboy people can tell me if this movie guy is real <laughs> or if he just made this. Yeah, I don't know what. He's like in some island somewhere, but he's from Canada originally. And he wants really? to make a hockey movie. Oh, but I was like. Gross like about my tits or like ah! <laughs> I, I really haven't got any details but I also did have someone uh buy my jeans that I was gonna throw away oh he has lord a, a jean kink and I was like oh did, like, they, did they ask you to not wash them before I wanted me to wear them yeah did yeah he, and did I was he like charge okay, him a lot of money uh a decent amount yeah <laughs> um that is bananas there's been like you have no idea the well, you do have an idea. Yeah, but, but not like... with the male demographic. No? No. Oh, the cre- yeah. They're... The creepiest thing that any... Sydney, cover your ears right now. The <laughs> weirdest DM I ever got from a guy... I... It's always women. <clears throat> the weirdest thing I got from a guy was somebody asking me if I liked it in every single hole on my body. And I was like... Oh, yeah. Th- there's lots of holes. Like ears, <laughs> ears specifically. Nostrils, sure. Anywhere else, don't touch me. No, it was so weird. People don't f- nose, do they? Uh, probably. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't Micro know. Dick. Yeah, if people are masturbating, really need a nose job after that. If if people are masturbating with jeans, the oh, I think they're doing a lot more than jeans. Like exactly. probably substantially worse than jeans. He's probably a good guy. You need to start He's a podcast Ontario. just on Canadian. like the DMs you get. Like, could you read me a few DMs right now? Oh, like <laughs> read me a couple DMs right like now. Unhinged. Could What's I go through and the, just the pick vast a few? Majority of them are nice. Yeah, give her go to okay. like 
Like, at first, I was trying so nice to be nice to everyone. And I was like, I just need to be nice to these people because they're actually nice to me. And then I'm like... Oh, well, you do get a lot of nice ones. Yeah. Like, they're mostly nice. For every mean one, there's probably five nice ones. And even, like, the guys who ask completely unhinged things are really nice about it. Like, if I paid you and gave you my grandmother's jewelry... <laughs> Would oh, you man. think about sucking my dick? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Um, yeah, like how do you pick? <laughs> I don't even. I am surprised actually how sweet. Oh my god, people want to know your shoe size. The, I have so many feet. People like we literally did so much feet pictures this weekend. <laughs> Stop. Are you gonna go on OnlyFans? Are you already? No, just Playboy. Oh right, because Playboy does yeah. the thing. Yeah, like the feet people are unhinged. Like. Can you skate? Damn it, I'm really like... Whoa. Good content. <laughs> How did that just happen? I just smashed my wine glass. <laughs> I've never done that. It's a good way to round out a podcast. I got really excited about these DMs and flailed my arms. There's so many. <laughs> I... Yeah, yeah. Okay, while you do that, I need to find... Dick the... rating, too. Did you know dick rating is a huge thing? Guys what? really want to send you their dick and know what you think about it. I've never and received... And then, so, I was, like, being... I'm so sorry. Like, kind of, like, mean about it to some of them. And like, oh, like, what's that spot? And they're like, oh, it's Flash! And then they, like, start freaking out. What? Yeah, they really want their dicks rated, which is... I've never heard... I mean, <gasps> wow, people are actually quite nice to you. Mostly. I like your spirit... Keep me and you. Oh, bless. Did you see all the songs? People wrote songs about me. What? Oh, yeah. Two songs already. <laughs> okay. We tried. We tried. But I want you to find some crazy ones and send, send them, them to me. Because yeah. I would just... I just want to, like, do a dramatic reading of, like... Like, if I yeah, do I'll the, look through them. Send me the your shoe size and your toe. To... Shut off. Okay. And then last thing. Dream collaboration on Playboy. Huck Ta Girl. <laughs> well, you guys gotta get Huck Ta Girl. I just feel for her. She Honestly, was just the same time as me. I'm sure there was lots of other yeah. rando girls who have done it, but I feel like we're going through this together. Yes. It's like my new little sister. Totally. What yeah. um what would you say to her? Um, are you okay? Yeah. Oh. And they're mean. <laughs> yeah. But like she also has like big support I noticed. Like Good. It's the same thing. There's only like random mean people who probably have never sucked a dick <laughs> don't do it right <laughs> like the girl knows what she's doing you obviously like that's what people's problems are <laughs> that's i i feel like you guys need to do some sort of collab yeah. together that way how old is she 21 i watched oh. this morning yeah okay, she did 21. like a thing on barstool after her zach bryan concert and, yes like, she wasn't a teacher like everyone said and everyone said she got fired from being a teacher that's and then, not true no, she worked at a spring factory. She's not even, you can't even legally teach, apparently, in the States until you're 20 something, which I learned this morning from oh her. Oh my gosh. But, like, same thing. People made up, like, crazy shit about me. Like, oh, wonder how her Monday morning office meeting was. Betcha she got fired. Like, my boss is a fing gem and was like, Matt, people whip their tits out all the time. You're fine. We'll get through this. Like, their tits. Let's right. do this. And I was like, Monday morning meeting? I've probably been at work for nine hours before you office cucks got up like, yeah. <laughs> like i'm yeah. not no shitting on offices no. but like i wasn't at the monday morning office meeting right. i was busting my non-existent balls <laughs> like <laughs> like to the internet like i just don't get where they get their shit and run with it and it's like oh the the amount of lies i've seen about myself online and what, what did people i do choose next to believe is <laughs> absolutely wild it's like i live my life and then other people have a version of what my life looks like because uh, they see two minutes of Man, my day when my tits literally like went initially viral people who thought they were real were like fighting people who said they were fake to the death and were going to die on that hill and had no idea if they were real who i fake. am and yeah they're fake as like, ah! That's what I'm saying. Like, that. what is the big deal? Look at them. They're fake. It's the yeah. same as looking at a rubber fake plant at the store. Like, they're not even real. My lips <gasps> are... I always yeah. I'm like, my lips are real. Real expensive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Real expensive. Yeah. <laughs> what is the, What are you the most excited about after all of this? The My bank account. So <laughs> the people who say that, 
like no one cares about you anymore your 15 minutes of fame are over like yeah i never wanted those 15 minutes but you guys you negative people like your negative comments all it's doing is boosting me further you posting on my thing for other people to see thanks yeah like come on <laughs> like if it's not affecting your life like that's my biggest issue with this is like why so many people were pressed about it like the world needs more real people like you i'm telling you the amount of people who like watch everything that comes out of their mouth because they're scared of what people are gonna think and you are just no, you like, you can't pussyfoot around life like you get one yeah <laughs> do I was it. Saying, you get one crack at life you might as well be yourself because otherwise it is exhausting trying to be somebody else it is yeah yeah, like well, I'm proud exhausting. of you. Exhausting. Like I'm proud of you. I'm also very much here for you. If you, you know yeah. it gets too much, I've I've experienced a lot of the craziness <laughs> online, and I truly am like it's one of my biggest things that are takeaways from this experience that I've had over the last ten years is like I love being there for other people who go through the craziness and like need a either yeah. shoulder to cry on or someone to talk to or vent with. I'm drink here for a you. bottle of wine with. I will drink a bottle. Of, we could zoom like eight. and yeah, <laughs> I'm we down could, for eight. We could <laughs> literally just like do a Facetime, drink if wine, they and vent. Grand Prairie, then. <laughs> yeah, you, you tell those guys. I'm going get to get spade and sparrows out. Like first stop, home from the airport. Yeah. Five hour drive. <laughs> yes, and you tell them, this is the wine that we need. We in need this. this. It's, it's we're doing it. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you wanted to share before? No, I don't think so. I, this is the thing. I, if people are confused about who you are today, it showed who you are, and uh, it's so real. Yeah, that'll that'll be the thing. They'll yeah. be like, well, she's a lot. You of, are or who you are. Going to be like, okay, she is legit. Yeah, she's real. You are. Hollywood who you didn't are. kill her. <laughs> no, and it won't. Thank you so much for coming on today. No, thanks for I having me. I know this me. is like a, a lot, and it was nice that people can now see that I am real and exist and yeah. am a human not and you're more than just uh, your boobs robot yeah, yeah. am i <laughs> yes you are <laughs> no i know you're, i know i know and i boobs am are great but i'm like a whole lot more than boobs you are and a like lot. yeah <laughs> you've got a lot more and like and you get to use <clears throat> your beautiful body to make money and then yeah. still be true to you and you're a hard worker and you you're i'm proud of you oh well thank you i am thanks I am. for having me i'm really excited that you came on today i was i was very excited to talk to you and I just, Good. I live for real, honest people. I'm Caitlin Bristow. Your session is now ending. And if I'm being honest, I wouldn't mind a rating and review.